Oh. Hey. How you doing? Good, how are you? Welcome back. Not bad. Uh, do you have lockers over here? No. Okay. Sure. Well, no, they're closing up. They're about to close, they got so. Nerve. Huh? They got nerve. Well, okay. So um, anyways, I look, I just wanted to briefly talk to you about um, what happened on election night. I know that there were poll books that didn't contain all the correct voter names. Is that pretty much correct? Um, there were uh, yes and no. Okay. okay. Um, what we had are, um, and, and the IT people are trying to figure it out, and they, the, the best they can give me is they're going to retrain, recreate it. So they couldn't be found in the book by the poll workers well, either. Well, they were told. The, the poll workers were given instructions to look there by Let's elections. See. Because what happened is it threw the numbering off. Did you, oh. did you get all the orders done? Yes, they're done. Uh, yes, just, just barely started. Okay, just barely started. Just barely started. Best of luck. Yes, thank you. Okay. Can I put this on the table? Yeah. Yeah. So just heavy backpack, that's all. So, um, and, and uh, let me go grab one that we've experimented on here real quick and I'll show it to you. Sure. Ready? Okay. For voting area two, which is Sassa B and Y. Okay. Hoodville and Y. Okay. Okay. So it starts out with the A's are fine. Uh huh. And then B's are fine. When we get to C, it should be numbering consecutively. It ends at 20. And these three people all registered on the cutoff day. For whatever reason, it alphabetized them and put them at the top and then resume back with the consecutive order of the first one. For Christ's sake. Okay. And Was this process outsourced? No. This is in-house? Yeah. But Maricopa had the same problem or something damn similar. Okay. And, and we... Well, do you use software for this? And if so, what software? It's ours. Uh, our, our system is separate. Okay. Uh -huh. What we did notice okay. is okay. that... These, a lot of these are easy voter forms that came in through the computer system, but that's not a surprise because 80% of all forms we get are through the Secretary of State system. Right. Okay. But what occurred is we saw this as soon as we printed the rosters. We were seeing the numbering being off. Okay. And so elections told the workers, if you don't find the name there, go to the top of the alphabet for that last name. I see, I see. So, okay. Carla, yeah, top of the C, top of the D, right. et cetera. And so there, but interestingly, it alphabetized them in that group. So these are in correct alpha order for that little three group, and then everything's in alpha order beyond it. Okay. The other part that we saw is that in some precincts, if we entered a change in their address after the cutoff, it left them on the roster in the old and not in the new. But we have not found hundreds so, of them. We found some. So. Okay. When they went to the polling place for their new address, they're not listed there. They were still, for whatever reason, in the old polling place. All right. Was 053 one of the affected precincts? I haven't yeah, had time to look at okay. individuals. Okay. Did, can you get me a list of which precincts were affected? I can get you a list of the ones that we know are perfect. I don't know which ones are affected. I see. Okay, a list of the perfect ones okay. would be valuable. And then the other ones are potentially affected. I don't know if they were okay. or not. I just know that those... Do you have it in electronic form? You could just email it to um, me? I will have to see. But I okay. think we have a spreadsheet of it. Okay, if you do, that would be very, very, okay. very helpful. I've got your email, I'm sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'll give you, let me give you my card just in case. Okay. Okay. The just, other thing that we saw is that the volume of provisionals we got is... Uh, fairly close to what we got in 2008. Okay. And we had, I think, about 30 to 32,000 in 2008. And we're, according to elections, we got 26,900 this time. All right. So we're not seeing this as being a major causing lots of problems. All right. 
I'm being told, well, let me tell you what I know so far. Uh, Precinct 53, where I vote, um, I was there very late in the day. Uh, I got there maybe 6.30 or so. No, 6 o'clock, I'd say. Very long line. And poll workers were telling me they were taking just as many provisional votes as they were regular real votes. So that's alarm bell number one. Um, a lot of voters are telling me that they were told to vote someplace else because they weren't in the sheets. If they were, they were they've been told by the poll, rock, poll workers. Correct. Okay. What we okay. had, what the poll workers are instructed to call our office if they have somebody not on the roster to see where they are. And okay. I'm, yeah. And what we had, and I was on the phones from 10 until 7. Um, I had one call from one poll worker, and what they were doing is they, because there were so damn many calls, we handled I think about five or six thousand calls in one day, um, that there was about a, a seven to eight minute delay while you were waiting to get to the next person. Um, but so okay. they would end up not calling for one, I'd get a slew of them. Uh, okay. that the poll worker would have several people. And I had one site where he asked me to look up seven different people, all seven of them walked into the wrong polling site. We told them where they were supposed to go and they were sent there. Another site called me with four and all four of them had moved but had not updated their address and they were now in the correct site and had to vote by provisional at that site. What we have, and then we have this every presidential election, this is the election okay. that people for whatever reason care about. They ignore all other elections. And so the people who have been inactive for a long period of time or uh, who have been not voting suddenly show up and vote. Okay. Um, and so they don't have an accurate address on file with us. So we had a whole slew of those. And, and what it gets translated right. to is the poll workers don't know why they're not on the roster. Right. They just know they're not on the roster. Okay. And the next thing I hear is we have hundreds of people not listed on the roster. It must be a printing glitch. And in fact, it is people who didn't update their damn registration. And that's okay. where we get. Okay. Um, so that's a big well, por portion of it. But yes, there was a, a somewhat of a situation that occurred. Okay. Um, and the only out of alpha order that we found are these brand new ones. Um, then we don't know why. Can you give me like a sample copy like this, if not this one? Can you give me a set like this so I can yes. show people what happened? Yes. Okay, that would be valuable. All right, another thing. Um, and the one thing you can uh, also look at is the ID numbers, just so you know I'm not yeah. jerking your chain here. Sure. The ID numbers are issued consecutively, and we don't right. ever reissue a number. Right. Um, so the 215 group are numbers we just started issuing in. I can barely uh, see it. Okay. 215. The 215 O, okay, we just reached 215 at the beginning of October. I see. So all these people registered, and this is literally the 9th of October. We're already up to a thousand, and so on. We were processing a couple thousand I forms see. a day. I see. But all of them hit the 215 as the first three numbers. Those are all cut off. And if you Those go to this, right from late October. Right. For, well, from October 9th, right at that time I period. I see. Ninth. Here's another one. It's 215 3000. All right. And so on. That's I how see. we knew. As soon as we saw those numbers, we knew. Wait a minute. These are all recent. Right. Recent people, and then right. this particular one is a small precinct. I printed it out so I didn't waste tons of paper. Yeah, Here's another one. A small sample like this would be valuable if, if you have, if you can give it to me. Okay. All right. And Maricopa uh, had their own issues. I've talked to them. I talked I to see. some of the reporters up there, but they different did. issues. Well, theirs started out from what what the Republic told me because they called to say, "Have you ever had this situation?" But Maricopa was way behind on their data entry. I see. And they had to start printing the rosters before they were done with data entry. And okay, So they got then it. had two sets of rosters. They had the ones that they had done when they printed the main group, and then they had a supplemental roster that they had to issue um, after the fact. And so okay. in their polling places, they had two sets of rosters. All right. Let me, um, there's one case I got to tell you about, because you're going to hear about it. Mm -hmm. There's one voter who claims they went to the correct po polling place, they're, they were in there, but they they had her first name as her middle name, and her correct middle name was listed as the first name in the poll book, and they refused to let her vote. And the reason you're going to hear about this one is her last name is Grijalva. She's Raul's daughter. Okay. Okay. And she is steamed up. So at first they blew it. They should have give, offered her a provisional ballot. I also heard of one today that they refused to allow her to use the touch screen and she was a disabled voter. 
Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Got I didn't... Today. I'm oh, my holy crap. God. Okay, and so... Sight impaired. Okay, so if you're... If from what you're telling me, then this is... falls back to poor poll worker training, which has been a chronic issue out of Brad Nelson's shop. The, um, the, the, the oh, people we were talking to, now their instructions, the poll worker's instructions were to call in. And we had one gentleman who they had voted a provisional ballot, and he went on the roster, they didn't call in. And then he called in, he started looking, he looked on our site and said, wait a minute, that's not the polling place I went to. And then he called us and we confirmed, you're supposed to go to this other one. Uh, had they done that, that would be one less provisional that we have to deal with because right. we got into the correct site. And then you have others okay. that the, poor, the, the voter said, I wasn't on the roster and they refused to let me vote there. And we don't know if they refused to let him vote or they offered him the provisional and he refused to take it. But he was right. in a correct site okay. and he should have taken it back. So there's often All right. some one issues, but yeah, here's the, the thing. training is the issue. Yeah, well, we're, here's one, an issue that's going to come up and possibly come up in court is we know that there were voters told by poll workers to go to the wrong polling place. We're getting that story consistently and from a large enough number of voters that we're pretty sure that happened a lot. And it may, part of it may have been connected to this glitch. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, are you going to be able to determine how many wrong polling place provisionals we have? Yes. Okay. If that number is any kind of abnormally large, there's going to be a challenge to say take those votes despite the law because of wrongful polling worker poll worker actions. That argument's going to be made by some campaign. True. Guaranteed. Okay. Both campaigns sitting there watching everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. So okay. No surprise there. No surprise there. Um, Let's do this. If you can email me the exact list of the known good polling places, that would be useful. What, some of the races that are in contention are specific to certain areas of the county. So we can start to eliminate that issue as being a factor in some races. Okay? And I can work on that right away. And I, I need to. Um, One of the things that is often a hurdle, and, and, and we face this for years, the city of Tucson does not recognize a new resident the way the state law says, because the city has its own charter. Oh, so what occurs Christ. is the city uses the same poll workers and they drum in them that they must go to their old polling place if they've updated their address. And so it's oh, been a hurdle for years no. as to untrain them from what the city harps on them to get them to follow the state law now instead of the city charter. And, that's, and so that potentially is one of the issues that's in this uh, oh, with God. the poll workers because no matter what you tell them, they go for the same damn, oh, this is the way I was always taught and this is what I'm going to do. It's like, no, that's not the law. Do it this way. And, you know, you oh. run into that hurdle. So that, that is well, potentially out there. As and a, I'm getting a old, factor. It, yep, and I'm getting a lot of reports of, like, so you say a poll worker is supposed to call in for each of these cases. Well, I can tell you at 053, they can't have done that because your phone lines would have been tied up with nothing else. What I saw was there was one line coming in to vote, and it was getting split into, you're an actual registered voter, you're going to vote here, you're a provisional, you're going over here, and they were not kidding. Those lines were identical hmm. inside the bloody polling place. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So... Um, yeah. The, the most I think we got from any polling site is like 271, but I don't know. That, I know that, that it was a big one. But 53 must have been huge. It, it could well be. Okay. Um, and At some point, obviously, we're going to need a list of the problem child polling places. Yeah, typically. Uh, so for right so now, a list of the good ones. Of, uh, yeah. Every, after every election, I write my little summary of here are the things that we saw. Yeah, yeah. And I include in there, if we have a whole lot of people at a polling site that voted in the wrong voting area, we know those poll workers weren't polling. Right. But we have, to, we have to move faster than that because there's the five-day challenge window. Okay? And some of these races are so close that they might come down to that. 
So we need hard data as quickly as we can get it. If you have a list of the known good, that's a starting point. Okay? Yep. We'll see, we'll see what I need to you. If you could, the faster you can email it to me, the better. Honestly, with this rain, I'm going to have to sit out in a restaurant somewhere and go to that damn Wendy's or something because I'm on a bike. I wasn't expecting this I weather. Mean, I was shocked we had a flicker here and I'm thinking, what the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, wow. hey, this is so, can you, can you go to your desk and send me that spreadsheet? If I can get it, if, it's, if it already exists, yes. Okay. That'll be the I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, because I wasn't the one who did the pull rosters, I have to get it from the people who did to see which. Okay. Uh, what was there. All right. Well, that'll be a start. <sighs> Boy, what a mess. This isn't yours, is it? No, the it's bike's mine. There. The bike's mine. That's the reporter's car. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh,